In this video, we will solve this question right here using the fourth order runga cutter method. So this type, this formula and this way to solve this problem involves a lot of methodical steps. And so let's just get started. So we will say that K1 is equal to F parentheses X comma Y. This will equal, we use this formula here. So when X is zero, we get Y value would be one. So we would say zero squared times one and we would get zero. Next, we do K2. K2 will equal F parentheses X plus one half delta X comma Y plus one half K one delta X like this. And so now we would get, so X plus one half delta X. So we would get zero plus one over two, one over two times delta X. Delta X says 0 0.1. So we say 0 0.1 like this. This will be squared because in our formula we have X squared. So this right here is essentially a new X times, now we do Y. So Y would be one originally, one. So one plus one half K1. K1 we said was zero, parentheses zero times delta X. Delta X, we had 0 0.1 like this, close parentheses. If you notice, Y isn't squared, it's just a plain Y. So we leave it as is. And now if we multiply everything out, we would get 0 0.0025. This right here is K2. This was K1, this is K2. Now we need to do K3, same idea. K3 is going to equal F parentheses X plus one half delta X comma Y plus one half K2. This was K1, now this is gonna be K2 delta X like this. So we would get uh, parentheses zero because X originally is zero plus one half delta x is now going to be 0 0.1 and we will square this times now we do our y so with y we would get uh, the original y is 1 plus 1 half and our k2 value which is 0 0.0025 like this times delta x. Delta x is 0 0.1. And this is just a note. So if you look at our formula right here, we have x plus 1 half delta x. There's no k2. And that's why this term right here is the same as this. However, for y, we do k1 and now we're doing k2. So y is going to be different because our k1 changes. And we would still get 0 0.0025 um, the reason why is that this number right here is very, very small. So when you use a calculator, it's still going to be about the same. And now we will do K4. K4 has a slightly different formula. K4 will equal F parentheses X plus delta X comma Y. And so when we do K4, we're just going to use this formula now. So this is going to equal parentheses 0 plus parentheses 0 0.1 close parentheses close parentheses squared times parentheses um, we have y y initial is 1 plus k3 which was 0 0.0025 so 0 0.0025 times delta x which was 0 0.1 like this and when we do this a calculator we would get 0 0.01000 this right here is k4 now we will get the value of y when x is 0 0.1 
So the formula for this is going to be y i plus one is equal to y i plus delta x divided by six parentheses k one k one plus two k two plus two k three plus k four. So now we will apply this. So we would get y parentheses 0.1. Essentially, i is like x. We know the value of x as 0, we would get y would be 1. So if we do plus 1, we're changing from 0 to 0 0.1. That's why this is 0 0.1. This y1 would simply be 1 because y parentheses 0 is equal to 1. And we're saying that i is zero so when x is zero we would get one so this right here would be one plus delta x which we said was 0 0.1 given in the problem divided by six parentheses k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 k1 was zero plus 2k2 k2 was 0 0.0025 plus 2k3, two parentheses, 0 0.0025, plus k4, which was 0 0.01. So using a calculator, we would get 1.000333. This is y parentheses 0 0.1. Essentially, we're saying that when x is 0 0.1, y would equal this number right here. The next step we could do is, you know, get the value of y when x is 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. What we, what we would need to do is continue this process. And so I'm just gonna do one more to make sure you guys understand what we're doing. So I will do one more step so we can get the value of y when x is 0 0.2. Because maybe in a test, your professor might say, find y parentheses 0 0.2 or 3, and what you would need to do is continue this process two or three more times. And so now we will do it one more to get y parentheses 0.2. So we need to get k1 again. k1 is equal to f parentheses x comma y. And now we know that x is going to be 0.1 because we just solved 0.1. So 0.1 squared times y1. So when x is 0.1, y is this number right here. So 1.000333, like this, and we would get 0 0.01000. And now we will do k2. And so if you want, you can pause the video here and try to attempt to solve this problem. It's gonna be the exact same idea that we did when we solved for um, x is equal to 0.1. So this is what we will get is equal to f parentheses x plus one half delta x comma y plus one half k1 delta x, same exact formula. And so this will equal, so x initial, we're gonna say it's 0 0.1 plus one half, which is given, delta x is the same from the, from the initial problem statement so that's gonna be 0 0.1. And we will close the parentheses and we will square this term times, so the value of y when x is 0 0.1 was 1.000333. So we write it down here, 1.000333 plus uh, 1 half k. K1 was going to be uh, this number right here, so 0 0.01, close parentheses, times delta x, which was 0 0.1. Close parentheses, close parentheses, and we would get 0 0.02252. This right here is k2. Same idea for k3, k3 will equal f parentheses x plus 1 half delta x comma y plus one half k2 delta x and we will do the exact same idea so is equal to parentheses x is 0 0.1 plus one half 
delta x, which was 0.1 close parentheses squared, because in our problem statement, we have x squared times y times, now we do y. So the initial value of y when x is 0.1, we get 1.000333 plus 1 half parentheses k2, which was this number, 0.02252 close parentheses times delta x, which was 0 0.1 close parentheses. And if we use a calculator, we would get 0 0.0. 2253. Now we will do K4. So K4 is going to equal new formula F parentheses X plus delta X comma Y plus K3 delta X close parentheses. So this right here will equal X we said was uh, 0 0.1 delta X was 0 0.1 in our formula, we have x squared times y, so we square this times y. y uh, the value of y when x is 0 0.1 is 1.000333 plus k3, which is 0 0.02253 times delta x, which is 0 0.1, and we would get um, 0 0.0401. And now finally, we can get the value of y when x is 0 0.2. The formula was y i plus one is equal to y i plus delta x divided by six parentheses k one plus two k two plus two k three plus k four. And now, so we said that the i value previously was 0 0.1 and our delta x is 0.1, so now our y parentheses would be 0.2. It's going from 0.1 to 0.2. This will equal, so yi was 1.000333, essentially the value of y when x is 0.1, which we last solved for, plus delta x, which was 0.1 divided by six, our K1 was 0 0.01 plus our K2 was, so two times K2, K2 was 0 0.02252 plus K3, so plus two times 0 0.02253 plus K4, which was 0 0.0401. Um, if we use a calculator, we would get is equal to 1.002670. So this right here is the value of y when x is 0 0.2. And if you wanted to, you could go further and get the value of y when x is 0 0.3, 0 0.4. You would just have to increase the increments by 0.1 because that is our delta x value. And that's all you need to do to solve fourth order rung cutter method.